Christmas is coming a little early if you're a Google Pixel fan, although I shouldn't say that because it's still Google, so it might very well be a lump of coal that you're getting in your stocking. But it looks like the Pixel lineup is going to be coming a little early this year instead of the regular October time frame for release of the new Pixels. It looks like they're at least going to be announced in August at an event, so that should be something interesting, the timing of that. We're going to talk about it because... It may very well alleviate some of the concerns that we've talked about with the Google Pixel lineup. Now, here's the problem I have with that. I, well, problem is strong. It's something, it's something they had to do. I get that. Pixel 8 Pro owners might have to eat it. Pixel 8a owners are definitely eating it because the Pixel 9 is going to be kind of the replacement if everything goes to plan here, at least what we think is going to be the replacement for the Pixel 8a. So the replacement is coming, you know, three months after the release of the device in general, and then we're going to have a Pixel Fold 2. So I, well, first off, I like the theory behind it. This is what we talked about, the, the kind of streamlining the lineup where you're going to have a Pixel Fold 2 or Pro, whatever they name it, be on a Tensor G4. That's good. So you're not going to have that disparity there where you're paying $1,800 for a phone that's going to have a Tensor G2 and then be left behind on AI latest and greatest technology. So that's something there. You're going to have the Pixel 9 lineup. You're going to have the Pixel 9. So you're not going to have that awkwardness with the 8A or the 9A or whatever it would have been called, where you're going to have a Pixel 9 that's you know $50 more or the same price as a Pixel 9A that comes out later in the year. So you're not going to have that. You're going to have one release window that then every year they kind of follow with, maybe, question mark. Then you're going to have the the big boy, which is the 9 Pro and then the 9 Pro XL, which is probably going to be the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro equivalent, uh, equivalents that we have right now. So Pixel 8a, or Pixel 8 Pro owners, uh, you know, you're getting a couple months uh, less as the, as the main device. That's something you're going to have to live with, but it could be okay. Here's the deal. Google could make this all okay. Support the Pixel 8 Pro, give it new features, tell people straight up in the presentation, hey, we're committed to giving the Pixel 8 Pro the latest and greatest Gemini whatever features for X amount of years to come. So yes, I understand that your phone is not going to be the flagship latest and greatest for as long as you had hoped or as long as we regularly do, but you know what? That's okay because it's got a Tensor G3. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. We're going to support this device into the future. Pixel 8 8 uh, owners, don't worry. We're going to give you enough stuff. We're going to still going to give you the seven years of support. We're going to give you all the rest of it, but here's the Pixel 9. And then Pixel Fold 2 owners, here's what we're going to do for you. And then you know, we're going to give you the, the seven years of support plus the Gemini stuff and all the rest of it. So they can clean up their act. But here's the thing. This is it. This is the last time. We went through this with the Pixel 4 XL. We went through this with the Pixel 5. We went through this with the Pixel 6 and all the problems that that device had. We went through it. Well, the Pixel 7 was kind of re relatively event-free, and now the Pixel 8 Pro has been good. But this is the end of the line. You know, I don't use this analogy lightly, and I don't mean to, to make a joke of it or anything like that because addiction and stuff like that is very serious. But if you ha it's, it's like you've gotten somebody who you've cleaned up, I don't know how many times now, but this is it for Google. We've picked you back up. We've gotten you sober. We've gotten you cleaned up. We've gotten you a job. You have to come through because if you fall on your face again, there is a point where you just say enough is enough and you have to protect yourself as a consumer where you're not going to keep donating to this. So they may have, you know, they're going to have some awkwardness with the lineup this year. They're going to be cutting some, some d devices short as far as their lifespan or a, as being the latest device out there. Yes, they're going to have some difficulties with that and some awkwardness. They've dealt with that before. But this is it. If you commit to this, where you're going to have one release window and the entire slate of devices comes out and you finally got your lineup in line, you cannot falter again. You cannot come out six months later and say, oh, by the way, here's what we're doing this year, and it's something completely different. You can't go see your pants where it feels like whenever the engineers come up with an idea, you just release something. That can't be the feeling that people get when they invest in Pixel devices anymore. So we're going to give you one last break. I don't know why. If this were any other company, this any other any other marketplace, anything else, it would have given up on you a long time ago. But the bottom line is I'm a fan of what usually Google puts out. I'm a fan of Pixel devices. So we're giving you one last chance to be coherent. We're giving you one last chance to believe that somebody at Google graduated a, 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 with a business degree and had to take Marketing 101, a gen ed class in marketing for business. Okay? 
that they understand that here's what we're going to do. We're going to communicate our product, which has gotten better, clearly to the buying public and the people who have already bought our devices. We're going to satisfy those people. We're going to say, hey, listen, here's what we're going to do for you. And the new devices, here's why you buy a Pixel. Here's the plan, and we're sticking to it for five years, four years, whatever it happens to be. Do that. Can we do that? You do that, I'm all in. Seriously, I'm all in. If they said that this is what we're going to do, and here's what we're going to do for the future, and here's how we're going to do it, here's how we're going to support these devices, this is the new way of doing business, that's fine. But if they come out six months from now and change it, if they say for the Pixel 10, now oh, we're going to do something else, or, well, you know, maybe we're not going to have that Pixel Pro, and we're going to go back to an A-series, I'm done. Don't talk to me about TSMC. Don't talk to me about the Tensor 5. I'm done. Done. And you should be done, too, if that happens. So I'm going to gear up. I'm going to mentally. I'm going to take. I'm going to take from now until August to mentally steel myself to have to build up the fort. Whatever I got to build up inside to have the mental capacity to talk about Google for another year. And I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Do they deserve it? Absolutely not. They just released a phone that they clearly had no idea what they were going to do with. None. None. But they've gotten better with hardware. This is a nice phone. This is a really nice phone. One of the best phones last year. Love the Tensor G3. Solved a lot of problems they had hardware-wise. Doesn't overheat. Good battery life. All the things that were awful about Tensor were pretty much, you know, for the most part, solved with the Tensor G3. Here's the problem, though. Tensor G4, all the rest of it, you know, you're going to get some performance bumps. That's great. But you got to deliver on the promise of the AI. The features are what you have to sell us on. The features are the things that you have to assure us are going to be on these devices for years to come. Because unlike your S24 Ultra, I can't fall back on the raw power and performance of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. I can't a year from now say, well, if I don't have Galaxy AI, at least I got all this horsepower to do all this other stuff. I can't say that here. You've sold us on the fact that we ignore benchmarks because Tensor G3 is for AI. Okay, here. Give us the AI. I'm calm. I am, I am so proud of myself. Every time I talk about Google, how calm I'm able to. to and everyone's like, well, why don't you have this energy for other companies? Other companies aren't this stupid. Sometimes they are, and they get yelled at. But, you know, it's it is what it is. But, look, like I said, clean slate, wipe it clean. Nothing exists. Support us on the other devices. Give a nod to us in the, in the presentation. But I'm willing to give... The Pixel 9 series, if Google seriously seems to have listened and said, here's the deal, we're going to have a coherent lineup. We're going to have a coherent strategy in terms of the chipsets that we put out and the devices that we put out. And there's going to be a set segment of each device and a price point, and here's why you buy it. If they do that, I'm good. If they don't, miss me with the other devices. Like, TSM, like I said, TSMC, G5, just miss me with it. Just, you know, go do something else. I don't know. I'm going to go stand outside LG and, and, and just knock on the door until they open and say they're going to release another device or something like that. I'm going to beg Motorola and not be so dumb with their software update. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Licious day.